nili wangono kwa mpili timakondo panga timocheni timafani iti uh, mwino jeka boto olonga tifani kuika poka nsumari mkumata manga kumene kuli mpepo mpepo kuti jutani sizungu lila kazungu lila kwa mpili ni mpepo na iya ino panga jia kuti jia kuti uh, iya zimenezo fesu tutani tutuzizio Amarutsa Munjira, and can one and Kurani in Kuima would be a one executive to go to Nimavanga Jani. They would do one number in Mutimango and Mango and Kan, Ee, Onani, 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 Onani. Eh, you bang on Jenny, you could chuck at some again. It's again ago, and Rada. When it's hard to bank, come on, it's interesting. So that with so on, I'm people who ain't going to make it. One of our, our fellows, uh, this in addition to the program, William Kam 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 Kwamba. Uh, please come up. Good to see you. <laughs> so, can you tell me about the uh, the first time you met William? The first time I met William, I'll never forget as long as I live. Um, and that was in June 2007 at the TED Global Arusha Conference in Arusha, Tanzania. My friend had selected 100 smart young Africans from around the continent to attend the conference, people who could never afford to come otherwise. So, come on this side so the camera here can see you. All right, this is good. Good, good. So, yeah, okay, we can sit here. This is where I live. Where? What country? In, in Malawi. Now, you're 19 now? Yeah, I'm 19 years now. Five years ago, you had an idea. What, what was that? Uh, I want to make a windmill. A windmill? Yeah. For, for lighting and stuff? Yeah. So what did you do? How, how did you realize that? Uh, after I drove out from school, I went to library. And I read a book titled Using Energy, and I get information about windmill. And I try and I made it. <laughs> Even though we had the president of Tanzania, and we had Jane Goodall, and we had Bono, none of them had the effect on the audience that William's narrative did. And people were laughing, and they were crying, and he was just like the heart and soul of Ted Global in Arusha, and I said to myself, I have to help him. And so what, what's your, what are you gonna do with this? Do you want to build another one? Yeah, I want to build another one to pump water and irrigation for crops. The way I thought about things with William was that this kid has a chance. He has a chance to go to escape from poverty and to make a difference. If you were only exposed to the right educational resources and social support and stuff, he could be someone who made an impact on the world. I mean, I, and I kind of felt like, I know this, this sounds a little holier than thou, and I don't mean it that way, but, but I felt like I had a moral obligation to help him. I didn't even know where Malawi was on the African map. I mean, of course, I knew it was a country in Africa, but I wasn't even sure. And it turns out it's just south of Tanzania, so it was easy to go there. So after my obligatory safari vacation after the conference, then I went to Malawi. And I'll never forget, as long as I live, when I rounded this copse of trees, and over the top of the trees, we could see, for the first time, the top of the windmill. It's spinning in the wind, and you could even hear it. Now, William, wh why did you put the plastic in down here when you made this? As he took me around the village, he was like, oh, yeah, here's this 
water pump that I made out of an old bicycle frame. And I was like, he's an inventor. There's all kinds of inventions around this place. OK, can you explain that one more time on camera? Go ahead. OK, uh, this is a wiper motor. I want to use this like a, a generator of small windmill, which I want to use to put at a primary school on. William, can you explain how how did you make the light switch? I uh, use the uh, shoe rubber. Yeah, uh, shoe rubber. The buttons are cut from the bottom of the old flip flops, which I think is fantastic. Yeah. And there's plans for all kinds of different solar stoves and and pr other projects that I don't think they should replace what Mrs. Kumbamba is used to because if it's not what she's used to, she's not going to use it. And I think your mother will be able to cook more easily if we build the right kind of stove. And then, you guys, here's a question. Do you think that we should put up support wires on the windmill, you know, three of them, like they have on big end masts? Uh, I said to him, the history of Africa is filled with white people's enthusiasms of, I'm going to, you know, help out in Africa, and then they help someone for a year, and then they lose interest, and then that person is kind of stranded. So I promise you, I'll give you seven years. I never could have foreseen exactly how it would unfold. And I kind of felt like, why not? Why not do it? Sunset. sit. Which way? That's a good yeah, question. Yeah, which way? That's a tough right. question for us. So here we are, William. Uh, so this is Tom's oh building God. right here. Oh. So we're going to go up there. Oh, it's... It's so huge. Have you been in the, an elevator before? Mm, they what? In an elevator? Have you been in one of these? No. You're here, welcome. Yeah. How are you? You're safe. <laughs> yeah. It's great. It took forever at customs, right? Yeah. Oh, it's colder than you thought, isn't it? It's <laughs> oh, is it really, yeah. really cold. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect that I'll be experiencing that type of cold. <laughs> it's also very windy right now. Um, so, Mark, I have to show you uh, the article from the Wall Street Journal. William was on page one. Oh, is that right? Yeah, literally wow. on page one on Wednesday. Did you see the view, William? Uh, yeah. yeah. Take a look. It's 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 a really it's fantastic right. story. A, A1 column three, right? Oh, <laughs> it's nice. Kind of, I was, you know, blown away. I want to be there. Oh, is, is that wind? <laughs> That's yeah. wind. Oh. Yeah, if because you're so high up, the wind is so strong. Oh, if you okay. open, open it, you can feel it. <laughs> oh. Cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Not just cool, actually cold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think that would be a yes, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it have changed. It's kind of incredible, isn't it? Oh, wind have changed direction. Yes. Huh. Guest in studio, William Kamkwamba and his mentor, Tom Riley. Uh, William Kamkwamba uh, is from the nation of Malawi, which is in Africa. And uh, from a photograph and a textbook, William... Uh, built a windmill. He, he, he built a freaking working windmill and provided uh, power to his house, for God's sake. I mean, this is, this is a story that, uh, that is, uh, should be shouted from the rooftops. Believe it or not, thousands of blogs have already written about him. 
uh, on all around the internet. There's you know 16,000 entries in the Google sure. index just for his name, but WilliamKumquamba.com will let you read his exploits that he writes himself with a little help from me. Uh, and it's a great way to stay involved. Yeah, and I strongly suggest people do that. I mean, this is this is this is a really a chance to be involved with a, an Einstein. Well, it really is. Why did you guys decide you and William to proceed with the book? Did you think that like a book was a good idea? You know, I kind of felt like my job was to be his consigliere, like to give him my best judgment of what a situation was and list out, here's all the pros and here's all the cons, and then let him make the decision. Hey, Mary. Hey, Brian. Hey, nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you. Yeah. Um, come on back, the hosts are just coming, so, okay. But this, you know, isn't so much a book about poverty. It's a story about how there was a famine, right? There was a drought, right? Yeah. And through all this, you're quietly collecting parts to build a windmill, to power a generator, to bring light to your village. What happened after I collected all the materials right. to, together, and then it, it was here. I remained with only one, one thing. That was very important thing, which was a generator. The generator, yeah, so, to make the electricity. Yeah, I didn't have money to buy. So, so with I, the book, I basically told him, this is a chance to tell your own story. This is a chance to have many opportunities come to you that you couldn't even anticipate, and that this would give you money that could be your capital that you could use to take care of your family. So anyway, we went through the kind of pros and cons, and he said, I want to do it. And I was like, okay, that's marching orders. So my job is to sort of be business affairs at that point and help him with the contracts, negotiation, and all that stuff. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> wow, can you believe this? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to swim, guys. Go, Joe. William, you know the strategy of going in all at once, right? When it's, Is it cold? No, not, not, once, that cold. not once you're in. Yeah, you just know the water's cold. Oh! <laughs> One, two, I started three. from this side. I started One, from where? Yeah, are you okay with putting your face under the water? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. All right, so do you feel that then if you let go of the side, does the noodle hold you up? Uh. Very well. Just let go from the side. Yeah. You're in the shallow, so try to lift your feet off the ground. And does it feel secure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so... Because you can... If you want to practice with him, you can just... Okay, so I think it's more like... Yeah, that, that, you need to show him, Tom. That's right, that's right. Yeah, like, when you go forward, take your arms and go in, out, or sorry, forward to the side. To support William, there's definitely what I call the Council of William. There are about a dozen people who help out. There's relatively affluent families if he needed resources, they'd be there. Then there's friends and advisors, and sort of Andrea and I are sort of on the front line. You gotta slow down. Yeah. Are you worried that you'll sink if you don't go fast? Yeah. yeah but we, <laughs> but okay. we never let anything happen to you. No, no, we, we won't let anything happen. Mm. 
mafika ma November cha kudai cha chepirato anthu amapanga onjeni amonetsa makhali dosi ana kuti amene hori sinarani sindaonepo kwa chimodzi modzi songati khani zo bera na zizo bera na onjeni ubera na ufa o banjira waranda zima e ufa ndi khani zona kuti kumbuyo kwa zoti sidatani ipo chifuwa cha unjeni njabe chifuwa cha njabe mtu wa chikudile ya chifuwa pariye na njala yomwe ya nfambi anzatu anafa nditu njala yomwe sunondi menezi yumu Sisi wudzi wadi wadi hii duone kwenye dijani. Ndiyeva menes majiri kama disemba ai ai, pako na bali bema marumba wiri omo. Anao amaswa jira ndizoji, tikuira abeza ba nji ya wudi. Kana abe jina yios. Kwa emene inari bo, wadi zida ngoji diga maji funoja mnuage mungu nadi. Kui nasa sigre kuri jete panjare mene. Dewa pesa gandala ama jangu jauri be. Dewa bangka banci. Ungu orang kagak gandala maga aja. Ungu gula so jangu jauri muina. Di bulu musa gumu yawan. Nangka sedi dali be gandala mas. Tinari besok jori jengka jira, kau bina jori jengka guli. Saya muntah ibu nenek ayo. Kau mana beri aku sugul. Kau mana anda ni mau zinnya mar. Kau malah beri sugul. Si mana ejo, si mana si mana dan dah ulit sabun biru. Di tapang kunci ne? Ah, di tas, di tas ia sugul. Ni mau beri aku di mai. Mwenye ni yoye mbidia. Ugi yoye mbidia ni kanku kala. Mwina giriba ni nangasa maduta wa mweba. Aga maduta, nkuma mfusa kuta. Mwapuzira jani lelo basi. Mwango kazi nchuzi jazola ni. Zo, azoti ni mwango kumbira kuta. Na hila nazake ni nkanku mfusa kuta. Mwina kapena niziku dani. Niziku wapako noti kwa ndani. Niziku wapako noti za iwe waka kakutui wapuzira kena kwa. Wendeke na wame mato. I think mwina kapena. Nizika buwelika maboko. Sia nankuli nizitani. Nizi kwa pangu nuati kwa ndani. Nidabe zogu ni nkwa mbo ndani. Nku mambo vida kunche ni uja. Mambo vida kukulai bulali kuja. Ndege na kwa peni ndaka pesa bukula using energy. Menanka ntona zitu zizama wendu mili. Uwona nka... Kwa mbili ni magonda soona so zitu zi. Ina haa. Iye chintu yichi kwa zogu wa mazi. Cintu ini jinga di jinga boleh macam tangku pangka jangga. Dia kau cuma fruit sewa minit aku mana nak bawa nanti jalan awak. Kau siapa kau sekolah ikut kajian jalan. Makola di bawah dalam aku sangat kuat. Kau baca. Ah, mana cintu ini mana cintu aku funi kan ikut sejauh jangga. So Tom, how did ALA come about? Such a great story. Well, Fred Swanaker, the co-founder and CEO of African Leadership Academy, was one of the other fellows at TED in Arusha. Okay, so if I can just have each of you, I'm gonna cross off your name and give you a blanket. You know, after William spoke, I went and talked to him, and I said, you know, what about him coming to ALA? And Fred was dismissive. He said, it's too late, he's too old, um, and, you know, he doesn't have the foundation to make it happen. And so about six months later, Fred called me and said, I want William. And I was like, well, what's changed? And he said, I think, I think we can do a good job for William. And, uh, and, and I said, I had to think about it a little bit because, you know, I realized that to ALA, William's story was very compelling and, you know, probably a good 
way to fundraise. Yes, yes, IPL is 2020. But I really did believe in Fred's vision of a, a school with the best of the best of kids from every different country coming together in a pan-African prep school. And it was perfect for William because for the first time he was surrounded by ambitious African kids that were as committed to like making the continent better as he was. Uh, radiation is emitted from the nucleus. Bring the top of your over a little bit. Tilt your head a little bit. Burned. Burned. Tilt your head a little bit. Burned. Burned. Okay. Drop the tongue. Burned. I need that I know what percentages you want. So, how are we going to put? I'm just going to put it up. Like the, the whole thing? <coughs> no, 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 just for you, G. Hmm? I just wanted this. Hey, let me, let me see the slide can, that we have Can right I now. just use that let one? Let me see the slide I that we have. I didn't have my things in the You didn't put anything? Mm-mm. And what about William? He didn't send me anything yet. Okay, so then we have three and four, which is 12. What number do you have here? That's what... That's supposed to be three. Okay, well, what is 18 40. and four? 43. Ah. 43 or 42. Why is it 47? I mean, like, what is 8 times 4? 8 times 4 is 32. 32. Yeah. Why do you have 43? I first put in 32, but. And then what happened? You cannot afford, like, slip ups like this. Um, why are you in a math class all by yourself? That's an interesting question. Um, you have really asked a good question. Continue asking such a good question. Next question. I feel like he, most of the uh, students had like more preparation. It is like difficult to compete with someone who has been studying for all of his life. The majority, they have been studying in the uh, private schools in their countries. While me, I've been out of school for five years. Um, a roommate, mm -hmm. like, when we are trying to use a sign, uh, a sign. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. we use a sign over... Okay. We do sign of the angle equals opposite of hypotenuse. Sign of angle. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah, just one week from now, before uh, on March 2nd, and then coming back. I think I, I'm trying to see when, if I can come back in March, March, um, March 5th, which will be Friday, Friday, Saturday, six. Oh, Friday, yeah. Then, then I'll be in better position. My math teacher will kill me if I'll be leaving. <sighs> Man, life is tough. Um uh, I'm I'm worried that um uh my teachers will not be happy. Um uh for me, yeah, yeah, for me to leave. So I'm just worried that yeah. His high school was not happy that I was taking him out of school for three weeks for this book tour, but it was absolutely necessary. And when I weighed, you know, with William, I was like, look, you're going to miss three weeks, you're going to be behind, it's going to be massively stressful, but you're going to be established on the world stage and you're going to make money and you're going to tell your story and you're going to inspire other people. And he was like, you know, he knew that that was part of the game that when he did the, the book. What is happening now is that he, 
I have this book tour uh, next week, but the same uh, the same time I will be studying my uh, my exam, my mock exam. So uh, for me, it's really hard time to choose uh, which thing to do. Uh, the book tour it's important, exam it's also important. So now I'm just stuck in the middle. On Tuesday, it seems like um, I don't have any exam. But I have exam. Uh, I have exam on Wednesday. Is there a word in, in Chichewa for stress? Um, stress in Chichewa. Let me think. Hmm. Think how it's my. I think there's a way, but <laughs> I don't think of one right now. <laughs> when did you learn stress in English? <laughs> um, I learned stress in English um, once I, I, I started uh, studying here. Um, we'll be using a capability approach. The capability approach believes in this. There's some folks that if you'd expose them to New York or doing a book or going to ALA or something like that, that they would have crumbled at the, the insane over-the-topness of all of it relative to their perspective from where they grew up. And with William, I never had a doubt for a second that he could handle it. Where are you going on the trip? I'll be going to UK, France, and the Netherlands. Is it never? Yeah. Even forgetting the place where I'm going. I have a problem of sleeping. So take me time to get to sleep, you know. I just like sometimes I'm just thinking about school, thinking about life in general, everything. How my life has changed. What do I need to do in the future? So all these things, yeah, just make me like, uh, I cannot shut down my, my brain to keep, like, thinking, thinking. And William Kwamkwamba joins us this morning, along with Brian Mailer, who co-authored with him The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. It is great to have yeah. you here. So tell me what this word misala means. Um, misala is the word which um, we used to describe somebody crazy, so... Really crazy. A real crazy, Everybody yeah. said, Masala, Masala, he is so Masala, <laughs> yeah. including your mother. Nobody thought you could do this. And Brian, yeah. if you leave everyone with one thing to think about when you look at William. Well, uh, it's that there are people in Africa, it's a big continent, and uh, we hear uh, a lot of bad news about Africa every day, but just know that if there was one person in Malawi like William, that means there are hundreds of people all over that continent just like him, and we need to put our resources and energy into finding them and lifting them up, because that's the real hope for this continent. Yes. So. <laughs> William, I wish you continued success. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you for being an inspiration. I'm so excited. Good luck in the rest of your tour. Thank you very much. Just your signature on this, William, and then we're going to go through all of these. We're trying to get a lot of kids in Chicago to do more building like this. Okay. What's your favorite American food? Um, yeah, no, I mean, this is one of those sort of stories that uh, is incredibly inspiring to lots of people, you know, not just in Africa. Uh, my parents didn't have any money to send me to school, so I was forced to drop out of school. Yeah, after he spoke at TED, there was an article in the journal about him. Oh, wait, you found him off TED? TED? I thought you found him earlier. No. I found him in 2007. Oh, okay. That's when he was dis discovered, right? Let me just sit down for a moment. Right. I'm sorry. I'm, I mean, how does to Obama? I'll listen to Obama. We're done, yeah? We're done. So where are we heading now? Back to Andrews. Yeah, have a break. I can play it back there, but then the injuries party starts in like an hour. <laughs> then we have to present again. And then you're gonna have all these people talking to you some more. And then you're gonna be like, oh, yeah. 
Okay, you guys rocked it. That was quite a day. You did Voice of America, radio and television. You did a meeting with the ambassador, uh, the Malawian ambassador to the United States. Then you did the US, or the American Institutes for Research and International Book Bank event, which was pretty fun. Georgetown, like running to Georgetown, getting there like two minutes before it started, but it all went perfect. Rocking it again. Rocking it again. And now then BBC. I forgot, then you just did the BBC America TV. And then, now we're going to do the party, and it's yeah. showtime, and a lot of people who wanted to come to the day's events are coming tonight instead. Gonna, so, but gonna, tonight, we, tonight. rock it again tonight. Tonight will be easy, because you're just gonna be bathed in just a huge warm -up. Nagu, <laughs> Dambo Mangirira, genere jazo sezata. Kena go da go zaga pa poda ganga na mangirira so. Kena go mkujipa sura yento jicha guti jambo tani, jambo yena. Atambi ra guti wona na mangirira, no mangirira ga pa po, mbebo ya pa po, zungu ya pangono pangono, magetsin kumaya ga pangono je je je. Kena go chamanga guambiri. Nichi <laughs> I was able to get a little bit of 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 a little bit so um, I'm going to talk about um, uh, foreign aid in how how you, uh, Uganda and the, uh, Singapore you said the foreign aid. So um, 
I'm going to start with uh, Singapore. So they invested foreign aid into education. So they educate a lot of people in the country. So because of that, the companies were more willing you know, to, to, to start uh, business in, operating in Singapore because they thought that they would be able to make some, some money. I don't think I will be dropping soccer. I think continue playing soccer to some colleges. I don't know what Bana is thinking of. I'll be a cheerleader. Cheerleader? I'll buy my vuvuzela here. Like a pop <laughs> Yeah, I'll, try. I'll be a cheerleader. Even though they say that to become a cherry, they need to start when you are young. But I'll start when I'm old. I'll be cherry. Every sports, I'm not going to be. Are there male what? cheerleaders, William? Yeah? Are, there, are there male cheerleaders? I'll be the first one. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll be good friends of the girls. Uh, does that mean if you're not a cheerleader, you cannot be good friends with great girls? I can still, but you know. My chances are high than me not to be cut to be a child. SK. SK Chief Biology. SK. 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 Chief Biology. Chief. 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 Like how to spell it? Like it's not like you're gonna change the history. You're like, always gonna have Mr. Pretorius who lived. What in about Victoria. Zambia? Huh? Zambia, do not the capital city of Zambia. I don't know what this is. It starts with L. Uh -huh. Musaka. Sure. Uh, I know it. I I I think I've just left my phone. My other phone, I wrote lots of things in for for different languages. Do you have Arabic? I think so. I'll be disappointed. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Alhamdulillah, Jamani. Alhamdulillah. 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 Yes, sir. Um, okay, never mind. Most <laughs> important, how do you say that? He, um, say, you are beautiful. Auntie Jamila. This is for Auntie Jamila. For a girl, right? Like yeah, for a girl. Auntie. Auntie, auntie means you. Like you, Auntie. Oh, auntie. Okay. Okay. And for a boy, Auntie. Jamila. 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 Auntie Jamila, I'm not going to forget that. Auntie Jamila, I'm s I'll say to you. Shukran. Shukran is thank you. Yeah. Okay, shukran. Auntie Jamila. Don't forget that I'll ask you on the campus. Yeah, we need to start our lessons as yeah, we agreed I before. In June or something. Yeah. I'm 